It's Monday. You know what that means. McAllister's. Because we've been coming to McAllister's every Monday for how many years now, Mal? Fifteen? I think fifteen years. And every time we come, Mal always orders the chili. Every single, every single Monday. Every single Monday for the last fifteen years. I remember when we first came. And you ordered the chili and you said, I'm just going to stick with that forever. And you've been doing that for 15 years. Same with me. I've been getting, I've been getting this sandwich and, and the mac and cheese for 15 years now. Also, the camera, ch the camera just did its little thing because it saw a face in the macaroni. Maybe we could sell it. Maybe it's the Virgin Mary. So today was a shopping day, which is why we were out having lunch. And it's funny because we did our shopping at Publix, and now it's this evening, and Mal was on the Publix website looking at next week's sales. Next week's sales. We went. <laughs> We went to the store. Mouse already like, I can't wait for next week when There's we can so go back many to the store. Sale we buy. I'm, I mean, I'm thankful that you pay attention to all of that. I, I appreciate it. I'm busy with a bunch of other things, but Mao is the one who figures out, often figures out the meals that we're going to eat. Um, sometimes I'll contribute, but most of that is on Mao. She'll figure it out, and she'll also take a look at the, the online sale papers because we don't get like the Sunday newspaper I, that was a thing growing up growing up we had the newspaper delivered on Sundays and we would take a look at it and I remember mom would like go through everything and figure out what she was gonna buy from the store and which store had the best deals and all that now it's just on the computer which is actually you know really convenient um, so we did our shopping today came back we've been working like crazy because uh, Mal's video, uh, this intro to painting Sonic thing, is a beast. It's a beast. It was supposed to come out last Saturday and we missed that uh, release just because we've been, uh, I mean it's huge. It's the longest Mal makes video that she's done and it's uh, near as a hair 80 minutes long. It's super super in-depth. It's an intro to painting and Mal wanted to be very thorough and give a lot of instruction and she did. But it's really long. Now, one of the problems we have is um, whenever we get to that point, when the video is done, we then have to export the video and wait for that video to be done, uh, you know, finish exporting so we can upload it to YouTube. And in Mao's case, for a 4K video that is, on average, let's say most of the videos are about 30, 35 minutes long, those videos tend to take seven or eight hours. Uh, to export out of her computer. On some of the longer ones, it can push, you know, nine hours. So we usually let it go overnight. Well, we normally export her videos, and this might be a little technical for anyone who doesn't use Final Cut or Apple software. Um, we usually export her videos by sending them to Compressor. Uh, Compressor is this other piece of software that accompanies Final Cut. You do your editing in Final Cut, then you send your video over to Compressor and it exports it in Compressor. It would be the same thing as if you compared it to Premiere and the uh, uh, Adobe Media Encoder, that sort of thing. So that's what we normally do. But you can export it out of Final Cut. Um, for, generally, there's not really a reason to do that, at least I never have a reason to do that, because if you do that, it kind of stalls Final Cut from working very well. Whereas you can send a, uh, a file to Compressor, Compressor will export it, and then you can just keep working in Final Cut. That's what I usually do. Um, also, in the past, I've tested it out, and I've noticed no discernible difference between exporting it out of Compressor and exporting it out of Final Cut. If anything, Compressor, I would say, was probably faster. Anyway, we had exported the time lapse for Mal earlier, and we sent it to Compressor, and it ran into an error. And I was like, hmm, that's weird. Don't normally get a lot of uh, a lot of errors like that, but tried to export it again, same error. And generally, if something like that happens, I mean, there's a million different ways to get a file out of Final Cut. So I was like, all right, well, we'll just export it straight out of Final Cut. Well, we did. And, in, and a time lapse normally takes like 20 minutes. It took like one. And I was like, there, there's got to be something wrong. So we opened up the finished file, and it was fine. And I was like, this is... What? No, that's crazy. That's crazy. Why would this export that quickly? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so then we've been working on Mal's 80-minute monstrosity. Finally got it done. And I was like, well... 
you know, this thing at 80 minutes is probably going to take 12 hours or more, probably more, to export. 14 hours, I'd say. But that's sending it to compressor. And since the, the time lapse went so fast, let's try that. So we exported it out of uh, Final Cut. And Mal, what percentage is of that? 67. 67%. How long ago did we do it? I don't know. Like 20 minutes yeah. ago? I have no idea. No idea what happened. It did not used to be this way. I have tested this. I do not know what factor has changed. But something has changed in a huge way, and I've, I'm flabbergasted. Mao is exporting an 80-minute 4K video, and it's going to finish in probably a total time of like 30 minutes. And I'm, I have no idea how. Like, how is that happening? I don't know. I mean, the file wasn't completed yet, but since the time lapse finished and was fine, I have a feeling this is going to be fine too. It's just, you have to understand, going from 14 hours to half an hour is crazy. And I have no idea why it's happening. <laughs> but I'm thankful. <laughs> Very thankful. Um, that being said, I probably still wouldn't use it really on on my end, because the videos that I make are relatively short. Most of the LP stuff is uh, handled by Dan now, um, and even sending stuff to Compressor, things export very quickly. Um, you know, an episode of Fallout's the only thing I really do now that's long, that I do, that Dan doesn't cover. And, you know, a 45-minute episode of Fallout will export on my computer in like eight minutes, and uh, I that's fine. So I just send it to Compressor. I, I'm going to be doing things for eight minutes anyway, so I get back to work in Final Cut. So I, it's fine for me, but for for Mal, this is huge. And I still have no idea what's happening. But, cool. <laughs> anyway, it is super late. I am extremely exhausted. Uh, I get everything scheduled for tomorrow, so I'm probably going to try and sleep in just a little bit. Um, I've been getting mostly enough sleep, but just enough, enough not sleep. <laughs> um where I'm like, I can tell, you know, in, instead of, instead of getting like seven and a half, at least hours, I've been getting like seven or six and a half. And you do a few days of that and you're like, mm, I want to get a little more sleep. So I'm going to do that tonight. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?